I'm doing my best hawk impression. <laughs> okay. Uh, some people are, have asked me some questions about what I'm doing this year and how I'm doing it and what is this backstitch method. Let me first talk a little bit about this backstitch method and how I'm proceeding north. So this is the Appalachian Trail. And imagine this is a schematic of the Appalachian Trail. And this leaf, where this stick is, is Amicalola. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry, we're gonna make this one Springer. We'll make this one Springer. Amicalola's back here, right? I'm just gonna make a line with Amicalola. Okay, so the first day, with the help of a trusty assistant, I put a car here, driven by my trusty assistant at Amicalola Falls. And I took my second car and I drove north of Springer Mountain and I went to, we're gonna make this Woody Gap, because that's where I went. Woody Gap, mile about 20. And then I got out of my vehicle and I walked back over Springer Mountain and back to Amicalola, where I now got in the trail car. And I drove around, drove around, drove around, and I decided I wanted to park my car there at Unicoi Gap. And then got out of that car and hiked back to Woody Gap. And that is how I have proceeded all the way north on the AT by always hiking southbound miles. And here comes somebody who looks like he knows what he's doing and he's heading north. And I'm gonna turn this off. But anyway, that's the backstitch method. I always hike south and I proceed north. Well, maybe uh, 45 minutes, an hour ago, I had a nice long conversation with not so much. It was in fact him that was in the distance there as I was making that uh, video on the backstitch method. Uh, what I did want to comment here, however, is although I am hiking southbound, heading in the direction of Springer, in the section of trail I'm on right now, uh, I'm heading for five or 10 miles almost, almost directly north. You kind of go through this S turn and I'm in the part where uh, in heading Sobo, I'm hiking north. I think there are a couple other little places like that along the AT as it zigs and zags through the mountains. Hope your zigs and zags are going your way today. So the other two questions that uh, I've gotten repeatedly are, uh, what are your objectives for the year? What are you, what are you doing? And why are you using this uh, backstitch method? And the two questions are interrelated. So the primary reason that I'm using this backstitch method is for COVID safety. I don't want to be the vector from one person who I may not even know to another person who I may not even know doesn't seem to be the responsible person or the responsible uh, thing to do to sort of let down your guard. You know, it's not loving your neighbor. So um, I have some sympathy for the ATC who, you know, some people are dumping on the ATC because uh, oh, coming up to some people here. So uh, I'll, continue on. So I just uh, passed some, some folks there on the trail. 
and they were wearing masks too. So um, I was talking about the ATC. So the ATC, uh, you know, has been discouraging people to through hike this year. And I have a lot of sympathy for the ATC. They have to build relationships over decades that can be undone uh, by a single event or in a single year. So, okay, they're not issuing bag tags. I got it. Uh, but uh, if you take precautions, you know, there's no coronavirus on those trees. There's no coronavirus on these leaves. The problem is with people and interacting with people. So I just passed a couple. We were both masked up before we passed one another and we got well off the trail, maintaining social distancing and, uh, you know, taking proper precautions, minimizing the chance that we might uh, infect one another and then be the vector for, for a third person. So that's the main reason why I am doing this, because I never have to take a shuttle. I never have to hitchhike. I don't sleep in um, hostels with other people. Only two times have I spent the night inside a shelter with someone else. Uh, when people are in the shelters, uh, generally speaking, I tent out. So I can do this and using the backstitch method, resupply myself. I don't have to go into a town. I have the food in the cars. I do get um, like drive through, uh, but I take proper precautions even when I'm doing that. So that's why I'm doing the backstitch method. Uh, my objective for this year is actually not on the Appalachian Trail at all. Uh, I'm, I found myself to be out of shape uh, in January. So I said to my wife, hey, would you mind if I go out for like a couple months and uh, get in shape on the Appalachian Trail because I want to do the Continental Divide Trail. And the normal start date for most people on the Continental Divide Trail down at the Mexican border uh, is usually late April. And I reckon if I can show up and I already got trail legs and got all of the kinks worked out, uh, I'm going to be sort of off on the races. Now this is all predicated on being able to get a vaccination. Now, the rollout, initially slow, uh, but it seems to be gaining a little bit of steam. A day or two ago, I was reading a news article about some of my shipmates in the United States Navy on active duty. One ship just got home. They've been, they've been away from home for 10 months, essentially haven't had shore leave in that time. Those sailors deserve to get a vaccination. They're out there defending our country and they're in close quarters. They can't be out here like this. They deserve to get a vaccination before I do. The police officers keeping us all safe, they all deserve to get a vaccination before I do. The courageous nurses, Med techs, doctors, orderlies, janitors in the hospitals cleaning those COVID wards, they all deserve to get a vaccination before I do. Teachers, kids got to go to school, they all deserve a vaccination before I do. I'm old, but I'm not that old, and I don't have any underlying conditions. So I'm going to be. I'm going to wait my turn, and I'm going to be patient. I'm hoping it's going to be April, so I can go out and hit a no-bo start date. Uh, maybe later, maybe June, 
And it has occurred to me when I was talking to Shadow, who's doing a calendar year triple crown and has done the let me switch arms here. Let's do the where the sun is. Um he's doing a calendar year triple crown and he's done the CDT Sobo, which he recommended. Well, the start date at Canada for a southbound CDT through hike uh, is usually the last week in June. So maybe if I get a, maybe if I can't get one until a, a vaccination until June, maybe that's what I'm going to have to do. We'll see. Um, I'm not planning on doing the backstitch method for, uh, for the CDT. Uh, it's pretty much just now when the rate of infection is very high and we have to protect those people in the trail towns uh, through which we pass. So once I'm vaccinated, that's whatever it is, it's going to be the new normal. Uh, but I'll, I'll patiently wait my turn. I'll get it when it's my turn. And... Uh, well, I'll get on with life. Anyway, hope you're getting on with your life, too. <laughs> it's a great day out here. It really is. Uh, and if you can get a chance, even for a weekend, a day, an afternoon, to get out and recreate, uh, out here in nature, uh, it's it's safe. It's a uh, it's a safe place to be as long as you don't do things stupidly uh, around other people. Anyway, moving on. Got to watch the trail here. I mean, otherwise, I'm going to trip and break an ankle or something.